Forever Enchanted. It's me, Nancy Pants. And today what we're going to be doing is putting together um, gift baskets from the Dollar Tree. So this year I did get married and we're kind of more on a tighter budget. That and I'm not just I'm having the hardest time figuring out what to get for my nieces and my baby sister this year My mom has already gotten them dolls, and I just think they have so many toys so I was watching a uh, YouTube video um, What was it a couple days ago, and it was like a Dollar Tree haul and I don't remember the name of the channel or else I will give them a big shout out, but um, they were putting together gift baskets from stuff from the Dollar Tree and that just kind of like clicks in my head and I was like yes I can put together gift baskets for my nieces and my baby sister things that they get more of so it would be quantity <laughs> over like you know like a single big toy I feel like they would enjoy many smaller things so in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you the items that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to put together the gift baskets to kind of show you each gift basket for each girl. So I hope you enjoy and let's get right into it. Okay everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the haul and then as we're going through the haul, I'm going to try and put things together. So let's work through this together because I feel like this is going to be like a mini disaster. <laughs> So the first two things I'm going to show you are wrapping paper and these are both actually from the Dollar Tree and honestly they're so cute. Like it's little Buzz, little fat Buzz. We have Woody, we have the bear, I can't remember what his name is, but we have Jesse, it, we have the little aliens, they're so cute and this wrapping paper was so, so cute and for a dollar, that's insane, I love it. The second wrapping paper that I got was, of course, very Disney, and it has Mickey and Minnie on it. And it is so, so cute as well. And once again, Disney wrapping paper at the Dollar Tree for Dollar is ridiculous. I usually go to like Target, and at Target, something like this would be maybe about $3 or maybe even more. So that's exciting to see it there and be able to purchase that. So the next item I'm going to show you are the baskets I got for the girls. So I got a basket that looks like a little, like a little elf basket. And I have two Santa ones. So here's this one. And then here is, oh, where is it? This one. So I got two Santa ones and an elf one, mostly because my nieces are around the same age. I think they're about one year apart and um, Harley is a little bit older than them, but they pretty much like all of the same things. So I figured if even if one was different, all the items would be kind of the same so they wouldn't fight over it. Hopefully, that's the goal. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to use is this little tissue paper. So I did get this at the Dollar Tree. It was in a previous haul that I did. And we're just gonna use the tissue paper to fill in the baskets a little bit. Yay, cute. So the next items that I got are shrink wrap and pull bows. So these are gonna go over the gift baskets once they're ready to go. The next two items I'm gonna show you guys, these are not for the gift baskets, but I just thought they were so, so cute. And once again, Disney at the Dollar Tree is amazing. So these are actually door hangers and they have Mickey. So I thought these were so, so cute to just have around as decoration. The next item I got is little peanut butter filled penguins. And I got this because it comes with three, which is perfect because it's for three little girls. So we're going to go ahead and use, open this up and put it into the basket. So I'm going to set them here for right now until we kind of get the basket going and we know exactly where we're going to put that. So the next three items are similar 
but different, of course. So we have two little pinball games and one tic-tac-toe game. So I thought this would be really cute for them to actually play with once they unwrap the gift basket on Christmas Day. I feel like the more that they have to do, the less wreckage there is of my house, so. And I also bought tape, because you can never get enough tape, especially during the holiday season, and for a dollar to get to, what? So, <laughs> I actually got them little bracelets, and now that I keep messing around with these bracelets, I feel like this might have been a mistake. But we're going to put them in the basket anyway. That way they have their cute little something to wear to drive me nuts with. I also got them books. So this, these are so cute. They, there are Rudolph, oh my god, I can't talk guys. There's Rudolph, Mickey and Friends, Tis the Season, and then we have a Very Merry Mini. So these are all Christmas related, like holiday related books that they can read. There's two of them and I kind of just really want to get them into reading more and instead of just having like their iPads or, I mean I can't right, they're my nieces and I can't really dictate but I feel like if I keep giving them books eventually they'll get the gist. I got two packs of pencils. So my baby sister Harley and my niece um, Abby actually go to school now. So I figured this would be really cute for them to have and it would be very useful for them to have throughout the school year. I remember when I was little, I went through pencils like it was nobody's business, but I tended to lose them, so, you know, whatever. I also got them erasers. So these ones I'm probably gonna have to open and put in separately, so we'll wait on those. These are called whack a -Pack. And I got this for my husband um, last year for his birthday, and they were like birthday themed. So they're pretty much balloons. What you do is actually grab it and you just whack, and they fill up with air. And so I know that they're gonna have a lot of fun with these little whack a -Packs. I know I did. I blew up like one of them, so. Not from this packet, but you know. Let's just say my husband only got three balloons and not four. Ooh. The next three items are Sweet Tarts Merry Mix. These are so cute. I personally love Sweet Tarts. I'm not really sure if they're like really big fans of it, but it's candy. I feel like they'll like them. And if not, then, you know, auntie and sister get to have it, so it's cool. I also got them gum. Which, once again, now that I think about it, maybe not the best idea. But I thought this was super cute to have. You have a snowman, a Santa, and a reindeer. And it's just super cute for them to just, you know, enjoy that day. I feel like my brother is going to be like, why? Why would you do this to me? I also did get them a little plushy toy. So I got them a reindeer, a Santa, and a penguin. I thought these would be so cute for them to just play with on Christmas Day and just have something to do while everyone's like cooking and doing stuff. So I'm gonna stick this guy right in front. And the last items I got to put into these this gift basket are little headbands for them. So I got the reindeer, Santa, and a snowman. And I got this because they actually mentioned when we went to the Dollar Tree that they really liked them and that they wanted some. So I figured it would be a nice surprise for them to have that morning. I feel like this one has a theme. <laughs> this is what the snowman one looks like. I don't know, I think I might get a pair for myself. This is super cute. And the last one is a Santa Claus. So I think we can start putting in the bracelet and the little penguin chocolate. Put that in there. So these ones actually came in a pack of two, as you guys saw. A yellow one, so we'll stick that right here. Ooh. And we have the little penguin chocolates. 
You know, as I was buying these, I thought maybe this was too much candy, but now as I'm putting it together, I'm like, no, it's, it's all right. I'm sure my mom and my brother would disagree. But. So cute. And last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and include the erasers into the basket. Awesome, and we are done with the gift so basket. As you can see, these actually turned out pretty well. And I think this is something nice for them to just open Christmas Day, you know, have a, a lot of little things compared to like one big thing was my logic. <laughs> and the last thing I wanted to show you guys was this Santa hat that I got at the Dollar Tree. And it is has Mickey, it has Goofy, it has Donald on it, and it has snowflakes. This was just so, so cute. I could not pass it up because like I said, hats like this, any other store is pretty much like, you're paying maybe $9 or something for it, so. And Super here sweet. is the finished product. These are so adorable. So for those of you going, hey, didn't she in her last Dollar Tree haul say that she bought a whole bunch of stuff for her nieces and her baby sister? And uh, she didn't show any of that stuff in this. And if you're going, she probably 100% forgot you would be 100% <laughs> correct. I sure did until I went looking for scissors and I found all of the stuff I'd previously bought for them. So I added it to the gift baskets here. So as you can see, there's the little um, markers for their bag that they can color in. So <laughs> All right, Thanks. guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is a good idea, if you think they'll like it, or um, if this inspired you to maybe do like a gift basket from the Dollar Tree as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.